it's either all in or all out, and everybody was, was happy with the idea of retiring at this point. We worked hard and long. Now, this one had a lot of you all talking online. We shared it on our Facebook, and you all spread it like wildfire. After 109 years in Fort Smith, Noons Jewelers is set to close for the final time. Now, we did speak with the current owner about the decision and what he likes to say to the community after all these years of support. <laughs> a place a part of many love stories. Now we have customers from all over the country, over 40 states actively. Newton's Droolers actually started off as a love story itself more than a century ago. My grandfather, who was about 6'3", fell in love with my grandmother, who was 4'10". Kelly Newton says his grandparents fell in love after meeting on a train. In 1914, George H. Newton opened Newton's Droolers, and the two eventually had five kids, one being Kelly's dad, Bill Newton. They all wanted to go in the jewelry business. So each child moved to another city to open a store. As for his dad, he luckily ended up in Fort Smith. <laughs> the store opened on Garrison Avenue. It's, it's historical. Where it's been ever since. And he said, I'm not giving up on this city. And he didn't. And, and the city didn't give up. Even during the tough times like COVID. I, I thought, well, this is the end. Kelly says customers just kept coming in. We were shocked. Yeah. Just shocked. <laughs> and it and it hadn't slowed down. It just keeps getting busier. It's been an unbelievable business. We've had more fun and made more friends. and. Uh, you know, the business has just grown every year. But now, it's all coming to an end. 109 years old, you know, but there's no good time to quit, but, you know, you, you, you just can't go forever. But forever is how long the memories made at the store will last. Most unbelievable business we've ever seen. A business that started off as a love story and created even more love stories. A family business whose love stretches across the country. It's going to lock its door for the last time as a family business. And all these friends and customers, are our, they're our family too. Now that right there is just truly amazing. Now there's no set date of when the store will close, but Newton's Jewelers did start its closing sale on Thursday. The inventory includes millions of dollars of diamond jewelry, gemstones, and much more.